Okay, tonight I'm gonna to start a new video series where I'm gonna talk about this guy. This is an autonomous six-wheel drive robot. Uh, several eagle-eye viewers have noticed this thing sitting in the background of some of my videos. I finally got parts in today that I've been waiting on for six months, so I thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and finish it up and do the video series. Um, so the point of this robot, it's a patrol robot. It's made for um, either indoor or outdoor use. This is something you would use to uh, patrol an area, look for people who shouldn't be there, or sounds, or lights that shouldn't be there, or maybe just to keep an eye on things. So you can look at it almost like a security guard that you, it can either run independent and follow a pre-programmed route, or you can drive it rem by remote control. So each wheel has its own motor and its own axle, so all the wheels can drive independent of each other. So for high power mode, you can turn on all six wheels. For low power mode, you can put it in two wheel drive mode. Um, let's see, it's made out of wood. I like to prototype with wood because wood is easy to uh, replace if something breaks. Wood is cheap. Wood is um, easy to work with. You can drill holes over and over again. Um, if it runs into something, it's got a couple of uh, master kill switches that'll stop it. Uh, you'll notice there's a couple of cameras on it. There's an Amcrest camera on the front and a Tenvis camera on the other end. And actually, there's no front, front or back to this thing. Uh, the video cameras will both uh, pan and tilt. They hook into a couple of Raspberry Pis through Ethernet. And uh, let me talk a little bit about the control system on it. So this is controlled by two Raspberry Pis and four Arduinos. And um, they all communicate on the I2C bus. Some people call it the i square c bus. It's essentially a two-wire um, serial communication system, which is real simple. Um, right now, I've got a couple of uh, lead acid batteries on it. Those are temporary. Um, I'm gonna actually power it with lithium ion batteries. So I've been building this thing for quite a while, just haven't had the parts to finish it up. But uh, now I got the parts, so I'm gonna try and uh, knock it out in the next three or four weeks. This thing is autonomous uh, in the sense that you can train it and later it'll follow a pre-trained or pre-programmed route. Um, it runs the LAMP stack, which is um, Linux is what runs on both the Raspberry Pis. Uh, runs the Apache web server, MySQL database, um, PHP. Also runs Python. So there is a, I built a um, web page that you can actually control it from, which is in PHP. Python is the main control language. I've done all my programming in Microsoft's Visual Studio Code platform, which is free. You can download it for free if you want to learn that. And there's a ton of YouTube videos on it. Image processing with the cameras is done through the OpenCV uh, image processing library, which is uh, not super easy to use, but it's very useful. It's got a GPS on it right here, and uh, the GPS is not wired in right now, but I got it, finally got it working. That was a real pain to get working. So here's how it works. You can um, control it by a tablet like this or an app that I built, or you can control it through, through your phone, through a web page, and you can drive it around a route. And as you drive it around, the GPS will actually geocode points every few milliseconds. It'll, it'll take a geocode sample and it'll log it in the database. It also keeps track of when each wheel is changes direction and how long it stays moving in a given direction. So it'll record a route and later you can tell it to re-execute that route and it'll wake up and it'll redrive the route without human intervention. And it'll look for something that gets in the way. It has some obstacle detection built in through the cameras. Um, so the camera data stream is pushed into OpenCV and the Raspberry Pi and that looks for, that does some obstacle avoidance. Anyhow, I'm gonna get this thing going over the next week or two, uh, make some more videos where I show how I built everything. I'm gonna talk about um, building the wheels, building the frame, mounting it, building the circuit, designing it, programming it, pretty much a little bit of everything. And then we're gonna drive it around the neighborhood and let you see what it does. So stick with me. Thanks a lot for watching.